you know, one thing I found with uh, modern spiritualists and uh, relating people, when they get offended, Christian spiritualists, I used to be in a Christian spiritualist church. At one point I was uh, learning to become a healer, you know, and I went to meditation groups and was supposedly learning to become uh, aware of spirits and things. And I found contradictions, and I'd ask about these contradictions to these people who are supposedly educated, informed mediums and healers. And what I found was a lot of contradictions. And so I'd question the contradictions, and then someone would very often take offence, because I'm questioning what is valid, and they would take a personal type of offence to these ideas. They would take a personal grievance. They would feel offended by these ideas. And when they became offended, and very often angry, or upset in some way, shape or form, I would think to myself, well, if your belief is not based on something which is tangible and explainable, then how valid is it? That's the real question. Because if you're dealing with something which is not in any way really tangible, or what you consider to be tangible is also subjective, then how valid is the so-called evidence for your belief? And if you're becoming offended because you essentially have no argument, which is basically what you're doing, you have nothing to bring forward, no stock argument you've learned from a book or from a fellow educator or whatever the case may be, um, you've got nothing there to really back up your words then why should I accept what you say as being valid, as being actually true? And should I accept anything that you say as being true, as being so, because I can go to other people who do the same job as you as a medium or healer, and I can find other people with alternative views which differ from yours, and they're as highly educated as you are, and you know accredited within the realm of spiritualism, and, you know, in terms of going to uh, an educational course, having a background in it, years of experience, perhaps they're more educated than you and they have different views. So why should I accept your views over theirs when they provide the same evidence as you seem to provide evidence and people who are around you provide the same sort of evidence? Why should I accept one lot of pseudo-theology over another lot of pseudo-theology within the world of modern spiritualism and Christian spiritualism. You know, the world of mediums and healers, basically. Why should I accept one lot in terms of a subset over another lot, which is also a subset of that kind of belief? And the problem is a lot of people don't want to answer those questions. Or if they do, they want you to accept certain things, they have persuasive arguments, if you have a, a foundational bias, they're not really the best debaters. And the problem is then you end up with considerable areas of grey which then lead into ever greater amounts of doubt which then as a result obviously makes you think hang on this is a load of BS.